Toby, do you have any messages for Vanessa, your wife? Everybody. Welcome back to Enchanted by You. My name is Cassandra. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today it is the one year anniversary of Kobe Bryant's death and shortly after he passed away uh, last year I did a video on him and trying to reach out to him and trying to reach out to, to Gigi through the spirit box and to be honest it was one of the best spirit box sessions that I've ever had before. He came through and he had so much to say. So if you have not seen that video, I really recommend that you go back and you watch that video. It was amazing, the responses. But he also sounded like that there was more that he wanted to say. So I thought, what better time to do it than on the anniversary of his passing and see what what else it was that he had to say. Check in on him, check in on his daughter Gigi, who also passed away in the helicopter crash in Calabasas, California with him, and just see how they're doing. It's, like I said, it's been an entire year. So we're gonna do two spirit box sessions. Now, a couple of things if you're new here, I guess you could say housekeeping things. I have two spirit guides, and I call them spirit guides, but a lot of people refer to them as guardian angels. Their name is Ethan and E. You can hear their voices in every single one of my videos. And so you're going to hear me talking back and forth to them somewhat on the spirit box. So I just wanted to let you know who Ethan and E were. They helped me with everything. Ethan's kind of a jokester and a prankster. And E is more like my bouncer. And she keeps other spirits out. And also goes and gets spirits for us so that they can come talk to us. Another thing is... You know, people have asked, I think in the last Kobe video, well, why would he take away time from his family and come spend time, you know, here to come do this for, you know, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. The difference is, is that their time is not the same as our time. So he might just pop over here for what in our time to him would feel like half a second. But really to us it could be an hour we could be talking to him. The other question that I had a lot in the last Kobe video was well how do you know if it's a demon or if it's really Kobe? You can feel, well I guess I should say I can feel the different spiritual energies and how how they feel is so much different. If you are around a demon and or even an evil spirit and maybe you've had this experience yourself some kind of spirit that maybe want to cause you harm maybe one time you went into a place whether it was a friend's house or maybe it was just a creepy creepy old abandoned house maybe you were out exploring and you got those just chills and you felt uncomfortable maybe you felt like you were being watched that kind of energy is completely different than having a good presence come into the room and being and talking with them. So I hope that helps explain things a little bit better. Now let's get into the spirit boxes that we're going to be using today. I'm going to be using the same two that I used in the last Colby video. The first one that we use is the PSB7 spirit box right here. And it's just connected with regular cord. And it you can get these on Amazon, you can get them through ghost hunting websites. These are typically used on shows. You'll see them in like Ghost Adventures. All those people use these, this spirit box. This is the main go-to for, I guess you could say, paranormal research. And then you can connect it to any, you know, old speaker that you have. It works great for our purposes. So this is just my old JBL. Works wonders. The other spirit box that I'm going to be using is an actual app and it's called SBX12 Spirit Box. And I use the light version, so you don't have to go out and pay for this app. But it it doesn't have the tones of the voice, but lots of times we can get fuller senses coming through this app. Where on this one, the PSV7, we might not get the full sentences. It's kind of hard sometimes to make out, but we do get the tones of voice. So that's why I like using the different apps. So let's go ahead and start with talking to Colby and Gigi and see what maybe they missed out on saying last time and see what we can get for any updates. And we'll go ahead and start that spare box. I'm going to get it ready and I will be right back with you. So one thing I also want to say is when we're doing the spare box, it's going to get really loud. So if you're wearing headphones, I'm just cautioning you now at this point, it's going to get loud. And here we go. <laughs> Okay. We have it set 
to 150 ms. And let's go ahead and I've got some questions here and we'll ask. So Ethan and E, when you are here, can you please come to the spirit box and let me know that you're here? Ethan, I want to hear your voice. How are you doing? Ethan, are you here? Go get Kobe Bryant and Gigi for me. So we can speak to them. Did you say he's here? And I guys, I don't like to guess on what they're saying. So I'm going to go through it. And when I edit it, then I can point out what they're saying. But it sounds like we're getting good stuff already. If you could tell us, we want to know how are you doing? like we got a lot of really good stuff on that okay so now we're going to switch over to the other app that we spoke about at the beginning of this video and again this one doesn't come through very well with 
the tones of voice that you might want to hear as far as someone that's passed on. However, this one, and I'll show it to you right here. Okay, this one, and you can see it's set to 150 MS also. Ethan has told me that's where he wants it set, so that's where I keep it set. But this app allows us to hear the better sentences, so we're just gonna go ahead and do it. Unfortunately, it's really hard to listen to this app and back in editing, so I'm only able to for about three minutes, but we're gonna go ahead and try and see what we can get. All right, said Ethan. Okay. Colby, are you there? When you're there, please say your name. Colby, how are you and Gigi doing? message do you have for Vanessa? Do you have a message for your daughters? Are you and Gigi happy? Are you and Gigi in heaven? Colby, what other messages do you have that you want to get out to the world? Okay. Let's go ahead and stop that. I know that one's really hard to listen to, and I'm sorry guys for all the noises, but the noise is what the spirits actually need to be able to communicate, so that's why it's so important to have all that noise there. I know there's other devices that cancel out a lot of that noise, but I feel truly that the noise is very important and it allows them to manipulate different levels and be able to come through and talk more clearly with us. So I don't edit out my noise, unfortunately, and I don't use boxes that do. Uh, and that's not to say I might not try one in the future if that's something you guys are interested in. We'll just have to go from there and see. Uh, so anyway, I think it sounds like we had another great session. That, the first session, if you have not checked out that video, please make sure to do so. That was one of the best spare boxes that we've ever done. Just got tons and tons of answers from him and Gigi. So hopefully in this one we did too. It sounded like I heard his name several times as well as Gigi's name. So we'll just see from there. I hope everyone's doing good, having a wonderful January, and taking care of each other out there. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, share this video. If you have a comment, whether you liked it or not, please leave it down below. I would love to hear from you, whether it's, you know, how I can do things better or what you did like about this video. Please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the merch store teespring.com forward slash enchanted by you. All kinds of really cool stuff out there. So I hope you guys are doing great and I love you. I will be seeing you and talking to you very soon. Bye guys.